Texas Streetcar. Today in the shop, we have our 1957 Chevrolet 3100 pickup. We're going to go over the truck a little bit, and then we'll go drive it. Uh, we'll kind of, it has a bunch of aftermarket stuff done to it to make it a little more daily driver friendly, so we'll kind of start in the front and work our way back. Under the hood is a 350 V8. It has a T5 Tremec manual five-speed transmission. So it has an overdrive. You can actually get up on the highway and drive it. It has a 12-volt rear end in it. Uh, it has a little aftermarket intake and carburetor, some other little mods like that, dual exhaust. Suspension-wise, it has a Mustang II front suspension with rack and pinion. It's manual steering, but it does have power disc brakes on the front, drums in the back. It has a underdash aftermarket AC unit, AC and heat unit. Interior-wise, the truck's been updated with tilt column, aftermarket gauges. The bench is recovered. It has door panel, headliner. It's a bunch of little updates on the inside. It has a retro sound stereo with some aftermarket speakers. So this truck kind of has a bunch of stuff done to it to make it daily, daily driver friendly for a 1957 pickup. The story of the truck is it's been, it's a 300 truck. It was in the central Texas area with the second owner since about 82, I believe. And he used it as a daily driver. He kind of updated it when he could. And his wife ended up bringing it to us the, the first time we had this truck and sold it. We sold it to one of our close friends who used it kind of as a promo vehicle for his real estate business and kind of drove it on the weekends. So he's ready to sell it again, and the truck's still in the same condition as the last time we had it. Really solid truck. You can look through all the pictures. We did some pictures underneath, videos all around. Paint-wise, it's a daily driver kind of condition paint, how we describe it. It's a root beerish color. It does have a few chips and runs and flaws here and there. You can look through the video and kind of see, see those flaws. But overall, it has a good shine. No huge peeling or huge dents or damage. It has all the trim on the truck. You've still got the badges, the chrome bumpers the front badge, all that stuff's there. So it's a really solid little driver truck with some nice upgrades so you can actually use it. So watch the rest of the video, follow us on all of our social media. Give us a call at 254-383-3517 if you have any questions. Thanks. What do you guys think about this truck? guys we're gonna go drive the truck a little bit like we talked about inside some of the interior features i don't know if i mentioned it has a still tilt wheel in it has a lot of market steering wheel horn works so we'll go drive around the block a little bit it has a shifter that's kind of angled to go against the bench seat so it's easy to get in reverse and get to all the gears you can hear the aftermarket radio works actually sounds pretty good we'll turn the ac on got a hydraulic clutch on it so the pedal effort is is not too bad turn the ac down so you can hear us so we'll go take around the block a little bit the manual steering takes some getting used to when you're moving it's not not that bad so all these aftermarket gauges the autometer gauges are working you saw all the lights and everything the turn signal lights work and the trucks you know just for a little 350 truck it's got some good power so Whoa. my daughter's filming the day so maybe a little lower but it has good power, the, the transmission shifts well, no you know, grinding or popping out of gear or anything. And it's really fun to drive with this manual. I like the five speed and the shifter is real nice, got a little Hurst shifter in it. So it goes right into gear. The uh, rack and pinion steering, the steering's tight in this truck, much tighter than you know the stock stuff would have been in 57. Are you sliding around there, Gracie? Yeah. So the bench in it has good cushion, good springs. It's not all like I'm sunk down in it. Um, little tack up on the dash that works all the windows work they roll down fine so roll that down um, but really fun to drive little truck handles good stops good and like we said earlier people the owners were you know using this as a daily driver to some extent so it's something you could actually use not have to just park and only want to drive every now and then with AC and stereo and brakes and everything in here it stops really well. Wow. You know, it's got thrown through, huh Gracie? Yeah. 
but we've had it up at highway speeds. It'll run on the highway all day long at low RPMs. Starts right up. Really solid truck. I know we keep saying that, but here's another first gear pull. You ready? So it's got good power, so. Uh, give us a call if you have any questions. Like I said earlier, we'll have a bunch of pictures up of the truck, 70, 80 pictures, so look those over. Do I show them around? Yeah, you can show them around. These are the seats. Yeah. This is like the music stuff. And the dash? That's the steering wheel. Yeah. What's this? That? Uh -huh. What is that? It's a tag. It shows the RPMs of the engine. There's the, the front. My daughter Gracie wanted to show you all around the truck. So really clean interior. It does have a few little things here and there. One of the seat edges is kind of coming apart, but no big rips or tears and everything's working in here. So give us a call. Like I said, follow us on social media. Thank you for guys for all your support. We appreciate y'all. Thank you. Say bye, Gracie. Bye. Bye. Good job.